who's going to win. Well, it's going to be him. Three, two, one, go. Oh, bro, you don't have any legs on me. No, you just have Giga Alpha, right? Yeah. <laughs> nah, I just... Okay, so, um... Let's go with Sean versus Tart next. So you guys can Ow. see the more veteran guys do this. Ow. So Sean versus Tart, we'll go next. Ooh. And then I'll call in order. Can I go next? The White Dragon versus... Uh, the... that? Who said that? Okay. Who said they want to go next? Snail. Snail? Okay, you, you, you and nine can go next after this. Okay. Okay, Sean and Tart in three, two, one, go. Only your merms, no small lasers, please. Damn. Damn. Oh, wow. How to close? I don't know where you start. Seventy-seven. Oh. No, I mean, yeah, go ahead, give the feedback, go ahead. Alright, yeah. so, if you're 1v1ing, uh, as soon as they open your first leg, you know they're shooting legs you no longer need to twist at all. Like, genuinely just, like, face tag. If they go for your torsos, they lose the game. And you want to always give up one leg, so hide one of your legs from the start. I noticed, Sean, you, like, you got one of your legs open and then you switched. Uh, but mathematically, if you have a leg behind the, a dead leg, you can avoid 90% of the damage, roughly. And you're gonna survive longer, and you're gonna win the 1v1 every time, if you just sacrifice one and keep the other one completely fresh. So it would always be good to sacrifice one leg, no matter what? If in a you know it's gonna be a fight to the death, yes. If you okay. think you can survive with both legs, and like get out and you need that leg to like, <laughs> win the game, then you want to, of course, switch. Yeah. Okay. In the so same way, if you, yeah, in the same way, if you really want to kill and not leg, then you you don't want to like focus one leg first. You want to spread your damage mm. out. Okay. Yeah. A vapor eagle versus a dervish will win. We'll see. Place your bet. You know, I probably chose the wrong one here because I got streaks. Oh, you want streaks on that? Yeah, there's no way. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I thought you had shit. I thought you had serums. Okay. Rip. Well, just go ahead and try your best. Yeah, you can win, honestly. If you leg shield well enough, you win this, so... Yeah, see if you can. You want leg shield the other way around? Yes, yes, perfect. No, just stay go. at that angle. There you go. Don't let me go behind you. Use the elevation. Cut off the angle of his weapons. Nice, jo nice job. Yeah, very good job, like shielding. GG. Wow, excellent Left job. Towards... Excellent job. Three, two, one, go. They're playing a little bit more. Ooh, good hit. It kind of feels like I'm watching, like, the Battleship of the board game. <laughs> close the other close out. Nice. That was a good dodge there. Oh, I see how- okay. Because now he's lost that leg, he needs to use it. But he's in good position to shield it. He's in very good position to shield it. Now, do you still take damage on that leg or Very, no? very reduced. Very reduced damage. Okay. Uh-oh. No. Ball. Let's okay. how low. Let's just how low is your how low is yours? Red core. I wanna shoot it. <laughs> so that Woodrick, you should have probably stayed on the top ramp here, because you could have like presented like so. Like, you, you could have presented with your dead leg. Well, you were right here, actually. So you could have basically tucked your leg in the corner here. 
from what I saw. So you could have presented your dead leg here and made it so he would have had to run up this way for him to get a shot on your leg. And you can easily turn, like, you can easily rotate your legs if he's running uphill. And if he's running downhill, you can easily just cut off him off at the path like this. Oh, yeah, general thing. Uh, you want to be Anakin in this scenario, and you want to get close. <laughs> yeah. And if someone understands that, congratulations. You want so you don't want to jump over him. You do <laughs> not want to be Obi-Wan. <laughs> you want to be on the low ground. Yeah. Well, yeah, because that opens yes. up your, your their view. Because you can shoot you. their legs at a point where, you, if you if you're at the right like distance and you're lower, you can shoot their legs. They can't shoot yours. Yes. Okay. So Dan and Artie, three. Remember, no lasers. Three, two, one, go. Dan, don't run, away, don't run out of bounds, Dan. Go. No, you're good, you're good. You're good, you're good. No, I should go on play. Set him off at the pass. Ooh. There you go. Nice job! Nice so job you in the see, corner. Here you see an action. How focusing one leg gives you the leg first, but it loses you the 1v1 overall. Because okay. you can just leg shield afterwards. Whereas spreading the damage, as soon as you got legged, your other way leg was already open, you were already dead. Uh, three? Two? Or as soon as Wilder gets out of the way. Uh, three? Sorry. I'm letting you good. Three? Two? One? Go. Super use all the space. No small lasers, please. Oh, Mac, actually, wait. Pause, 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 pause. Mac needs a deselect of small lasers. Okay, three, two, one, go. Go. Oh, Mac, you deselected one of your MRMs. Pause for a second. Pause, pause, pause. There we go. Okay. Recommence in three, two, one. Go. Sorry. Okay. You guys are good. These are both doing quite a good job protecting your legs, using the elevation, using the terrain. Oh wow. Ooh. Damn. GG. Good, good, good. Two, one, go. Try to like shield the best you can, Ferret, since you got streaks. Alright, didn't mean to hit that one. You're good. You can use your lasers if you need to, um, ferret, since you don't have any other any other weapons. You can use your lasers. Nice job, only giving one leg up. Tundra, good job.
All right, I'm back. You're back, Snail? Okay. Yeah, I'm just not in the match. We'll go ahead and hop in when you can. How do I get back to that group? I think you'll play for an invite. We'll get back in here. Join. Okay, cool. Well, I think United's back. Ow! Snail, nice great job. Welcome, welcome. Acquired. Thank you, thank you. Nice Good job, job, man. Go ahead and kill every you can kill each other now, guys. Go, 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 kill, kill, kill me. Go, oh, I will live. Go, 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 go. Use the link. Use the link. Ow! Critical damage. And then let me show um what, let me show you guys exactly what Woodrick's talking about. Damage. Is that actually so that, that, that was um so notes on that one. You put with the bad position lined up perfectly perpendicular to you. Okay. So Tundra approached the bench. Here. Walk up to me. So this is kind of so that you have a first person view. You guys can all get a little bit closer here. I actually want you guys to all kinda of get this to where Tundra is. Everybody kinda of walk up to where Tundra is. Everybody move in. Move in. So this is kind of the technique that Woodward's talking about. See, you guys can see which leg is wounded, right? You guys can tell visually that my right visual leg, the leg that's facing away from you guys, is wounded. Yep. How easy is it to shoot me if I stand like this? To shoot that leg? I if you're standing... If you're, if you're standing still, directly in front of me. Oh, it's pretty that, difficult. That but the thing is, you're not going to be standing still, you're going to be moving. So, but, if you're standing still directly in front of me, and I'm moving like this, can you hit it if I'm running? Can you hit that yes. back leg? Okay. Here's what Woodrick is talking about. This is what you'll see great players do when they leg shield, is they'll walk like this. Where they'll kind of like walk forward, like walk forward, like just kind of like... Kind of just take like, like walk like back and forth a little bit. Like where they're not gonna show their leg. So it makes it so that when you're moving, I'm going to subtly move my leg and then it's going to keep it blocked by the other leg because of how the animations work. The other thing that they do is they'll also, you don't want to jump jet up because that can give them a better view of your leg because it's hard for you to twist your legs. But what you can do because that what, so the, the target point, so Dan, go ahead and like walk back and forth a little bit. Face me and walk back and forth. Turn. I could easily hit your legs. So you want to turn to be perpendicular to me. So you want to be in a place where your side is facing me, okay? Now walk, like, walk slower. This is what I want us to show. So just walk. The target point for a lot of people is going to be this left back heel. So you see, like, the back part of that foot? That's going to generally be the easiest place. That ankle. That left ankle is going to be the easiest place to hit. Right there. That's going to be the easiest place to get their foot when they're kind of st stutter stepping. Can you guys see that here? I've got my right, right leg back. It's yeah. like kind of my, so my white line is off to the side. I'm over, or my white line is, my white line is facing this way, Dan, you can back out of the way. So my legs are facing this way, I can tell because of the white arrow. My side post is facing this way. When I'm doing this, it's the easiest way to hit me is going to be to hit that back heel. However, you want to know what makes it really difficult to hit that back ankle. If I throw in little, just not, you don't want to jump all the way up, but if I throw in little, like, stutters. Because if you're trying to hit shoot that foot that's on the ground, that back foot, but if then it jumps off the ground, I'm just gonna hit. See, like if you look at um, he's doing like U9 is doing a great job. He's just kind of like it's really hard for me where I am to hit it. Now I kind of got it there, but if you're really wounded, it's really hard to hit there. So that is kind of the technique. Is you kind of just want to like accelerate and uh, decelerate, like maybe 20 kph in either direction. But not, not even, like, you don't need to be looking at the numbers. Just, like, tap your W and S keys back and forth. But tap your W, S keys, and your space bar back and forth, basically. And try to keep it, and you also want to keep it where your arrow, the arrow in the snow, is facing directly perpendicular to them. So if they're moving like Dan is, then I'm twisting like this. I'm not twisting my torso to follow them. I'm twisting my my legs, and I'm following them. So I'm like going like this. So if Dan's circling me, Dan just run a, run a circle around me and see if I can see if I can hit this. 
Right, so I'm positioning myself so that Dan is perpendicular. I'm perpendicular to Dan, and I'm going to do this. You don't want to get too ahead of yourself because you don't want to give them your back. Your, the back part of your leg. You just kind of want to do this. How easy is it going to be to hit my legs? Yep, wrong one. Now you're kind of circling me for a while. Kind of graze my leg a little bit there with some of the damage. Okay, now stop shooting me so you don't leg me so I can show something real quick. So... Obviously, you what you want to do is you want to place your back leg, your more or your more wounded leg. This is assuming that, by the way, this is under the assumption that my front leg is cord. So you guys know, this, I mean, it's gone. So when I say that my other leg is cord, we're we're operating under the assumption that my left leg is gone. Go ahead and oh, I don't need to blow my leg off because I want to show you something. So you're shielding this most wounded the 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 wounded leg here is the one that you want to shield. If you have one leg gone. You want to shield the or one leg, you know, if this was a normal situation and I had one leg full health and one leg orange core, I would be facing the orange core leg towards them if I'm in like a last stand type situation. Because I want them to blow that leg off and not blow my other leg off. You guys uh, understand what I'm saying? Yep. So you tank with the more, you tank with the leg. If you have both legs, you tank with the more wounded one. If you have only one leg, you tank with the one that's that's destroyed. I'll put the one that's destroyed in front. So here's what something else we talked about is cornering. You don't need to even really get that fancy if you can find the right position. One of the things you want to always look out for, so kind of kind of come this way, follow me. One of the things you kind of always want to look out for is a good corner. So once you get legged, you can kind of tuck into it. This is not really the best because it has some angle, but maybe this works. So this is where I kind of the optimal setup here for me. So if I'm legged, I can kind of like tuck my, this is one of the more optimal setups. I can tuck my leg in this back corner and I can just kind of leg shield from here. So like I don't have to cover this side of me, I only have to cover like this angle. So I can just twist my legs to be like, you know, if you're right, if I'm trying to twist against you, I can twist to be like this. If, so stand, everyone stand, like stand with tart standing. Someone like rotate with tart, tart. If I'm standing right here, how easy is it to hit my leg if I'm like this? Pretty, pretty hard. So like, you want to find a corner to tuck yourself in, if you can. And then, you know, just pump your jump jets a little bit. You can move back and forth a little. If you find a really good corner, you don't even need to necessarily move your legs to a ton. Pumping your jump jets is enough. Because you don't want to accidentally give them a little bit of a... Yeah, we got angle. dunked on in uh, Hellbore when we played that map. There was a guy that was uh, just sitting like this, underneath the uh, platform. Yeah, you remember that match? I remember oh, that. Yeah. That was what toss? Was that toss? I think it was Jay or one of those guys that level. No, 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 no. no, no. What, what map? What, what that was oh, Stars, yeah, right? yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, that's kind of what we want to do. Is we want to sit like like this. And you want to find a corner, you want to squeeze into it, and you want to keep your your le your you know left leg or whatever leg is destroyed in front of the wounded leg, so that it's hard for them to kind of find your way. Um, does that all kind of make sense? Yes. Do we have any questions? And then you just kind of want to move a little bit back and forth. Now this movement back and forth like this. This is um. Something that you should get used to. This is a high level. The, the highest level movement is not like flipping over people's heads and like jumping and killing people. This is what this is the movement that you'll see high level players do the most. You'll see high level players, or even like you'll see high level players do this the most when they're in um, like Daka Max and then all of this stuff. Because if you're in a, a Daka Annihilator, this is just this is more like general notes. If you're in a Daka Annihilator, if you can aim effectively while doing this, you are going to be slightly more durable and hard to pin down than if you're just standing there doing like this. So like this back and forth side to side movement, you will see high level players just do that all the time. Just like turn they'll turn their sword side torso and they'll just do it all the time. 
whether they're leg shielding or whether they're just in a standard like DACA or mid range mech. They'll just you know, they'll just move back and forth. So like get comfortable moving back and forth. This is a if you're shooting somebody, it's a lot harder for them to hit you if you're doing this. Even if you have both of your legs intact, it's a lot, it's a lot harder for them to get, you know. May, well, not a lot harder, but say, fair, you're looking at me, right? Fair, look look up towards me. So, like, if you're aiming at me, say you're aiming your guns at me. If I'm doing this, it's going to be, you're, you're going to maybe get, you know, that could be the difference in you getting... You have what, like three medium lasers? That could be the difference in you getting 15 damage on my side torso and getting like 10 damage on my side torso and five damage on my arm, which is a big difference. Or, you know, seven damage on my side torso, five damage on my arm and missing two of the damage. So like just moving back and forth makes it so that they have to actually aim a lot more effectively. So that's something that should, you know, just practice that movement, practice this little back and forth acceleration. Just, you know, moving back, moving forward. Cool. So that's kind of like some leg shielding basics. Pumping your jump jets, you want to keep, stay perpendicular to them so that your legs... A lot of the like leg movement stuff and like getting comfortable leg shielding is just about taking time in the chassis. Because your legs are going to feel like they're in different places in different men. It's not always going to feel the same. So the more you play your dervish, the more you play your different mechs, the better you're going to feel leg shielding. Because, um... Sorry, I'm grouping. The better you're gonna feel leg shielding, because um, um, it, 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 it'll make it'll feel more natural. It'll be it'll be like a more natural movement. The last thing, obviously, is if there's cover that allows you to hide your legs, always do. Um, so like this cover kind of helps me partially shield my legs. If you're trying, if you know they're shooting your legs, go ahead and do this. Another little pro tip is this: shield one of your legs using a building corner. So like. You can't really hit my right leg. But I can still, you know, you can't hit... U94 can't hit my right leg, but I can still hit him. Like, U94 try to leg me with... Take my right leg out. Almost got me with the splash damage there. <laughs> um, but, like, yeah, you can't... Uh, like, the leg is basically... If you can tuck your leg, if you can, like, put your crotch right on the corner of a building, you can kind of tuck your leg behind it. And you can still shoot, or even, I, like, this would be safer, but I can do this. You know, I can do this. I can, like, Pop-Tart here. I can Pop-Tart Mac. Like, he can't really hit me. Just by putting, you know, if they're going for that leg, it's sometimes enough if you want to still be able to shoot him. Just put your, put the leg behind a corner. Put the leg behind a corner. When, you're light, when you're legged, corners are your friend. Corners and the low ground is your friend when you're legged. Just remember that. Everybody cool? We good? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Woodrick, part anything else you would point out, or uh, any other insights, thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, anything? No, I guess the only thing I would add is if you happen to have a, a mech that has mask, you can do even fancier footwork uh, if you apply the mask back and forth. Not while you're legged, because your mask doesn't work when you're legged, but while you're trying to avoid being legged, yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're shielding with the dead leg. You want to shield with the dead leg because it's like significantly less damage. There's like a 10% damage transfer on your dead leg or something like that to the other leg. Because it transfers some damage to the like side torso and some damage to your leg. Oh, I um, thought it just went to the side torso. Or CT. Uh, it, I think it's like... I think it's like... When you shoot a leg, I think it's like... 10% goes to the other leg and like 50% goes to the CT or something like that. I think. 